I've been playing around this little circuit here. Uh, all this is, I've got a little bit of extra light on that. It seems to flicker a bit, so and it doesn't really make much difference. Um, this is basically a a um, flyback driver using a 555 timer uh, IC. Now, although my configuration here isn't really that effective, um, I'll give you a quick demonstration of how ineffective it is. Um, first of all, I'm just going to turn that on. You can see that's a square waypoint. Right? Off again. And let me just connect up this wire. I'm going to fly back here. Now, when I say it's not very good, the design that I've been sort of copying, I couldn't, I haven't got the same uh, MOSFET as what they've used. So I've just been using a, I think it's an IRF 840, and I can't remember. Um, offhand, I'll put in a, a note or something on the video what it was that the MOSFET um, that it said to use in the circuit diagram. But I'll show that in a minute. So just very quickly then, because there's only the little tiniest of heat sinks on this. Um, turn it on. Okay, pretty lousy really. Now if I just turn that up fully because we got some some variable there, but I've only got one one spare hand. And I'll turn that back on. Okay. Not now. Okay, you know, so I can play around with that. I can I I got some um I I I actually I'll try to uh, this is a 3055 and a T20 T20 package. Um, sorry, a 2N 3055. And I've also tried a tip 35 in here, um, but still, it's it's not that great. Even when I play around with the two variables there, this, the setting that it's on at the minute is for the highest frequency, which is around about I think it peaks about 110 kilohertz and sort of about 85. It goes down to around about four using both of these, take it all the way down to about four kilohertz up to that light. When there's nothing on the circuit, when this flyback isn't on the circuit, it goes to about 43 kilohertz. But the way I've got it set is to try and get the most out of it. So as you can see, it's not it's not particularly that great. Oh, but I haven't got the probe on. Why did I take the probe off? Oh, because it was going to there. Let's go straight to the output. This is just on the resistor leg of the output, so let's turn it on. See, right now you can see there now. Look, if I pull that round in front of that, move that out of the way because it's doing music. You see? Okay. I need to start taking some of it back because. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's how I had it earlier. That's what I was seeing. Yeah. Of course, the higher I turn the frequency up. Now, if I leave that on those pots, because that's what I've done, I've just adjusted these. And I will put the other, uh, I'll put one of these back in and we'll see what happens to that. And that's only pulling 88 um, million. So, let's take this, let's just move that off and just remember it was on the output. I just need a bit of light back. Of there. Oh, I'm going to put that back into the. It's in there because it actually does 
function now I can't remember if we just tried that to see if uh, I'm just going to try on one of these this one hasn't actually been in before by the looks of it because it's so spread out there unless I just took it out at a weird angle and managed to splay the legs out just check that's the right way around and it is there you go let's push it into place There we go, right, so we've still not got the um, flyback connected, and we're still at the same settings, so, oh, we've got to put the scope on, I just pressed the power button, but the scope's not on, I'm going to go into that, it's just a leg of the resistor coming straight out the output, make sure it's not touching anything, shall we, right, let's go back to that, ah, there you go, you see, but those ones from Blooming, eBay uh, are not very good at all, you know, when you comparison to that. So, hmm, there we go. What do we think about that? I'll try and get this to work better and show you if I can. Okay, I've taken this uh, IRF 840 out and I've got a uh, IRF. 3205 replace the 330 ohm with the 220 ohm resistor uh, here and I've taken out the 10 ohm and I've put a 5.6 more than 10 ohms and I've put that in there okay when this small amount of time because it hasn't got a uh, hasn't got a heat sink but there is a slight increase I know that's not a great deal, but it is a little bit better. We're progressing forward. A little bit better. Because I'll put a ceramic capacitor in there, it's not as good. That's one of the film ones, polyester jobbers. These green ones. Seem to seems it seems to like that the most. Even against one of these, it seems to just be slight difference. It prefers this. Prefers this. Now I wonder if I can't remember what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it, get a small one of these to increase increase the uh, the frequency. That's what I need to try and do. I think. magic smoke 